Hi. <laughs> so, um, okay, let's start. I, I'm going to talk about this. And who, who use um, WordPress here? In any WordPress users? Okay, not much. Okay. So, what do you do? Like, uh, your engineers or like publishers, company owners? What do you say? Uh, we do a bunch of it all. Oh, every all. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So I'm a, a WordPress uh, developer. Um, so we are uh, we are Digital Q. Uh, that guy with the, the hat is the CEO, and I'm uh, evangelist there. Okay. So we are half a WordPress professional. We have uh, like ten years of experience. So we contribute to the WordPress project, and uh, we've done that for 10 years, and the rest half is um, like Amazon Web Services people. So we offer um, like hosting WordPress websites on Amazon platform. And then, uh, so our service is like managed hosting, or we deliver uh, AMIs or cloud formation through Amazon Marketplace. So our strong point is like we know both WordPress and uh, AWS. So and today's uh, my talk will be um, our like sharing our knowledge and a bit of like conceptual thing. And okay, so this is me, Shin Ichi Nishikawa. So it's a bit long. So uh, people call me Shin. And um, I used to live in Bangkok for two and a half years. And now uh, I moved to an uh, uh, island in Japan. Like I went back to Japan. And this is called Ogijima, uh, Ogi Island. Uh, there are 150 people. And uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, I moved here with my wife and two kids. Kids are going to school. Uh, the first. Uh, the, the elder girl is seven years old and uh, grade one, and that school has uh, four um, students. So uh, Nishikawa, my name, my um, family name is Nishikawa. So Nishikawa girl, and the other three are Yamashita kids. I mean Yamashita family kids. <laughs> yeah, and we have elementary, uh, junior high school. There are only also four, and teachers are fifteen. Okay. So this is my daughter, like fixing the house, and we are now like cleaning and then renovating the house. <laughs> yeah. So this is my life, and um, my, this life, like my life, is like um, totally like backed up by like WordPress open source software and its community. So I work as a, um, a developer, and I also uh, contribute back to the WordPress project as translator or um, like theme reviewer, theme is a, like a WordPress template, like a view layer, and then uh, I organize events like this. So this is a um, WordPress meetup in Bangkok. So when I moved there, uh, there was no like meetups. So I started once, and then and now they're like con continuing, and we are going to have a bigger like. Um, Event which is called World Camp, uh, maybe early next year. Okay, and now um, this is on like, on the island. So we are. Like, it's me, and it's my wife, and she's the owner of this um, library, Ogi Library. It's a private uh, library. So they they ask to the government, local government. Okay, open a new school, open a new. Um, junior high school and uh, open our uh, nursery school and they said okay yes 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 and then they invested that up and then uh, they said like she asked to the government okay um, one more maybe library and then they said no and she built it so she crowdfunded um, uh, money a little bit of money and she she collected uh, people to help her and I went there so that's the starting point. I moved to this island. So this is uh, 
like small long press meter. So three of us are from like are living on this island, and three others are coming from uh, the mainland. Yeah. So this was a World Camp uh, World Press Conference in Tokyo, 2012, and it was uh, these are the organizers, so and volunteer group. So it was um, 1,400 people who came to the to the event. So that's how I like. Um, work with uh, WordPress. Okay, so, yeah, so this is the topic. Um, high traffic websites, spiky access, like suddenly you get a lot of access, and WordPress. So WordPress is really great. Like its, its mission is um, democratization of uh, publishing. So it lets people like, publish whatever they want to say, uh, if they have like domain name and their server and uh, something and WordPress, then they can say whatever they want. So it's a great tool, but uh, maybe like if you get like ten access like at the really same time, then uh, it's really tough. So what happens if you have like millions of access? So that's the thing we handle. Okay, and of course there are um, a lot of things you can do, like uh, caching or like optimization uh, using CDNs, or like a configuration in, inside the server or inside maybe WordPress. And there are um, plugins. Plugins. Do, do you know what WordPress plugins are? Like it's the adds functionality. There are like a caching plugins and uh, stuff like that. But um, Today I want to focus on like outside of uh, WordPress, so to use like more AWS stuff. So WordPress weak point. So WordPress is not good at these things. Searching, uh, it can search. You can search, but it's slow. And sorting, or related posts, or uh, related products, or maybe recommendation like uh, you you have. Uh, under like Amazon.com, like shopping, yeah, site. And then uh, logging lots of data such as access log or security log. You shouldn't do this uh, inside WordPress. There are plugins to do this, but you shouldn't. And backing up itself. So this is how um, a, a model uh, which describe um, how usual WordPress plugin uh, work. So you have a uh, WordPress core, and you have like plugins, and plugins they hook into they, there's a hook API. So you, WordPress loads and it, it runs the code, and like there are a lot of points you can hook into. So it's going to be one big process. So if something fails, like maybe like PHP fatal error, then like everything is gone. Like it's white screen. So this is how WordPress work and plugins work. And this is like simple and it's good. But um, so you cannot decouple the like if the thing this plugin does is really like heavy, like it, the process is heavy, then like whole like whole website is going to be slow. So this is the offloading model. So you have the functions or the jobs that are done outside of the WordPress or outside of the server, and then uh, you connect them through API. And because WordPress itself, the WordPress core itself, doesn't have the um, like a point to um, like you cannot. Um, this one should um, should be like um, as it is. You cannot edit these files. So you add plugins, but plugins here. Uh, they are uh, connector plugins. So you just communicate. Uh, it connects WordPress core and microservices, like outer services. So like handling uh, data through, like communicating through API. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, maybe this is a like search something. This is ranking something. Uh, this is like maybe CDN. And then WordPress uh, 
will be like simpler like, as it is. You don't add like heavy processes. So for example, uh, this is a plugin page. Uh, it's a it's called Akismet. So Akismet is a um, so like it tells you if a comment is a spam or not. But uh, the idea is so everyone has a Kismet plugin in, inside their WordPress setup. And then uh, you send data to a Kismet server with IP address and uh, like a, a lot of things. And then uh, and the comment itself and the name and email address and stuff. And then a Kismet server collect them uh, from all over the world. And then they analyze them. Or like pe people send it, OK, this is a spam comment. Then it's marked as spam and it's going to be shared. And you get the feedback from the server. So um, this idea is not that new because this plugin is, I think, 10 years old or something. Yeah, it's been there like, always. So you need, to, you need to pay to use this. Uh, you can use it for free too. But yeah, so this, this idea itself is not so new. And other examples are security plugins. So it checks if the files are not changed, or um, it does really a lot of things. But um, the core feature is uh, blocking the, the bad access like the firewall. So that one <laughs> should happen outside of WordPress or outside of the server. Um, then again, the plugin, the security plugins are uh, acting as a connector plugin. Yes. So how to do that? So our offloading uh, ranking or popular posts. So you, we want to show um, like top three like most viewed posts like this. Uh, so top three most viewed posts within seven days uh, in a category JavaScript under uh, slash en slash pat. So if we want to achieve this only inside WordPress, then basically we need to log all the access, you know, like a timestamp and post ID and stuff like that. Right? And then it means uh, every access will add one row to your database. So what happens, you, you get like millions of access a day. So it doesn't work. So who should do this? It's Google Analytics. So this is a connector plugin again. Uh, simple GA ranking. And so um, this is PHP. You, you have like these arguments. Like uh, we want to show three posts and seven days. Post type is post, category in JavaScript, and filter like you can this is like Google Analytics um, API uh, something. So, and you get the data and you save it or you cache it uh, like uh, temporarily in WordPress. And then you can just like loop it and show the result. So this is uh, the basic idea how these connector plugins work. And search related posts. So like cases are like this. So we, w we want to look up the, the content a uh, user is reading now. And we want to do the like full text search or like uh, related posts. Or uh, we want to look up, look up to the, look into the uh, category names or metadata. For example, like, um, oh yeah. And then uh, we don't need to have the perfectly matched words like misspell one we want to uh, look for. And then other cases, like rate the post with frequency rate of the related words appearance. So the default WordPress search is like you find the words and then uh, the, like it's listed. They don't care about the order. So we want to rate or search products by price range. So from $5 to $10. And if we want to do this one, like price range search, uh, within WordPress, it's really slow. Because 
um, it's saved in, so each post have like one row in post table, and then uh, you need to join another one, like post meta table, and it has the, the I post ID, and um, you, need to, you need to join and look at all the products, and you need to sort. And this is, the post meta table is not, uh, the values are not indexed, so it's really slow. And, uh, yeah, so for this, uh, Elasticsearch. So Elasticsearch is, um, do, do you know what Elasticsearch is? So, yeah, okay, it's a, it's a search server or service here, uh, which is really good at like full text or like um, fuzzy matching or uh, sorting or stuff like that. So, um, when a post is added or a product is added, um, you save the data into your MySQL database and you send the data through API to uh, Elasticsearch server. They save the data and uh, we can pull through RESTful API. And there are a plugin for that, Elastic Press or Elastic Commerce related items. Uh, search form and simple one, and we have a demo here. Um, okay. <coughs> so this is a demo website. Uh, these are the, the products, and it has like price or rates. Uh, in its metadata, and here's our like we can we can sort by popularity or newness or price, and if, if we go here, then yeah, it's going to be shown uh, this quick. Uh, this is because we are not asking WordPress to do this. We just send the data uh, like the the the. Uh, send what we want, and they give us back, and then we render them. Yeah, so caching, uh, cache and CDN. Uh, we found that the e easiest uh, caching is uh, on CDN. Before, yeah. So, and this one is a C3 Cloud Front Cache Controller. Um, it's a, this one like, lets you like, delete or like, flash the cache on the CDN uh, from inside WordPress uh, admin page. Like you, you want to delete everything, then you click, then it access to the C3, uh, I mean CloudFront, and the, they, they will be patched. And also like, uh, when you update a post or you add a post, then uh, it will uh, delete caches like which which needs to be deleted. Yeah, and uh, backups and storage and more. Okay, so uh, until here, like we we saw like how to offload things like searching or uh, stuff. But so this one is uh, our basic setup. So we um, put out the database out there. And then uh, they, they are going to be like um, backed up all the time. And then media is our on S3. So we have the plugin for this too. And they are cached here. And before we are, we were caching inside our, uh, yeah, this is EC2, inside our EC2 server, like Nginx uh, proxy caching. And it was really quick. But uh, after the cloud front, came out, like, it's a lot easier and it's cheaper. It's cheaper to serve from there than serving from uh, the EC2 directly. So, and we add to the OnePress like a simple GA ranking or elastic search service. And then uh, OnePress gets a lot like simpler and simpler. And we want to, maybe we need to change the view like how we uh, understand the WordPress and the other services. So this was the um, the model we saw, the beta one. 
not the monolithic one. Um, we have our WordPress in the central, like, like a hub, and you have the connector plugins. Through API, you communicate with other microservices. But um, yeah, now it's a, like a WordPress is a hub in that model. So building microservices. Um, so microservices, what's microservices? Uh, it's like system of multiple components. They are, and the components, they are working uh, like independently too. Like they can work like standalone. And they are loosely coupled through a RESTful API. So that's the, the idea. Then, yeah, this one looked like uh, microservices, but if we um, go forward more, then the model maybe should be like this. Like these are components. So maybe Elasticsearch, something else. And you have WordPress as one of the like members. So I did this talk to y yesterday at the WordCamp Singapore, but uh, I didn't like speak out it, this one very loud because like one WordPress is just one of like components, but the world or WordPress itself is moving toward this way. Um, one of the biggest news um, these like one two years is uh, WordPress has uh, its own like RESTful API, like WP REST API. It means like you can ask any WordPress uh, to give me the data. Like you can say WP API slash post one. It's an ID. Then it will give you back the the, ID, the content, the post ID one content. And then uh, you you can uh, put content. You can delete. You can update content through the HTTP API uh, like requests. That means like. WordPress is not the central or the hub. Uh, it's going to be a microservice, right? Like you can you can call WordPress from outside, and you get the data. Maybe you can just save a data here, and then you use it like from somewhere else. Then uh, WordPress is not anymore uh, like central thing. Okay, so that was uh, how. We do, and from here, um, I'm going to talk about like uh, what we do, what we really, we really do. So this is Amimoto AMI, AMI like Amazon Machine Images. We sell that, but also uh, we are open source people, so we sell AMIs and we s we sell um, cloud formation, but they are all open sourced, and we we serve. Uh, we host um, Mazda website or Japan Times website. They are really like high traffic website, and we host on Amazon. We have a lot of the experience, and we we had a bit of like failures too. Like, oh, this when this happens, this fails like this. Then we need to change the setting like this, and we have open sourced everything. Yeah, so you can. This Amimoto IO. If you are interested in um, yeah, a project, then you can go here. Oh, where is that? Yeah, for example. Yeah, so th this is the AMIs, like, yeah, oh, we use them when when we, um, like, a boot. So they, they are the settings, and they are all code, and uh, you can use them, like, from now. And so this is the open source project. We, we have uh, more tools, so please go... and look up our like tools and products so the username or organization name is uh, 
編み元 AMI But our product we, which we sell is um, uh, these. Uh, we sell um, we have we sell the AMIs uh, through marketplace, Amazon marketplace. Uh, so we have um, several products, like products for uh, WooCommerce or like different like PHP versions, and if we choose this one, then you go to this screen. Then you, you can you choose uh, the region, and yeah, two more clicks, then it will boot. Then it, you can use them. And also, The cloud formation, the formation version, like you have not only the EC2, like LDS and S3 and yeah, cloud from. Then, yeah, uh, from from here you, you can boot, or maybe from here you can also boot. Uh, yeah. So these are our products. And if you want to know more about the products and how to uh, set up yourself, then uh, yeah. on Speaker Deck, uh, if you search for Amimoto, then uh, uh, you will find all the instructions. So you, it's like really step by step stuff. Uh, first, you log in, you click this button, you get this ID and credential, and you put this here, and you click. Then it's done. Yeah, that kind of like uh, resources, and also uh, we do the uh, managed hosting too. Like uh, people, if you have developers in, inside your company, then you want to do that, this yourself. But uh, this is for like those like they don't want to care about the infrastructure. They 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 want to do their job inside like WordPress only. Yeah, then uh, we can host them too. Yeah. And this topic was like from monolithic WordPress to uh, serverless WordPress. Uh, we are preparing for a service, like more easy service, not not managed one, but more serverless style WordPress service. Uh, I think I cannot um, like release it now, but I want you to like uh, look at our like uh, Twitter accounts or uh, yeah our social movement. We are like really excited about like using it. AWS to make WordPress a lot easier to for like high traffic websites or agencies. And that was my talk. Okay. Thank you. So you have any questions? Or something you want to talk? Yeah. Can you talk about like real life uh, case studies? Ah, uh, okay. So, like, we all um, examples. Anyways, Japan Times. So this website, this is all, for uh, managed. Yeah, yeah, we manage them, like managed hosting service. Main of Havara Kokos. It's hosted on uh, Tokyo region, 
But yeah, CDN, yeah, it's really close from here. What kind of numbers are you talking about in terms of traffic? Uh, traffic, uh, uh, five, um, seven, uh, seven, 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 We cache uh, everything, including the HTMLs, so which means like WordPress is like WordPress generate a page only one time, and then after that it's cached on the CDN, and people are watching this content like delivered from the CDN, so no one is coming to your server or WordPress. Uh, what's the difference between CDN and Akamai? Uh, it's same, same. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, it's a CDN service. Yeah, one note. Yeah. Mm. What other components are there? What is the architecture? What other components? Also, besides the besides load press for this website, elastic search. Ah, これこれ実際何使ってる？さ、他にどういうサービスが使われてるのか？リスト。まあじゃあ、うん、やばい、really close to this one。うん、okay、we we have multiple like data。and I。Like a triple or like yeah, they they scale automatically, and then we have two multiple. But like basically, this is okay. Uh, when creating website, uh, there are some sort of options which are being given uh, while initially setting up the, mm. the website. Mm. Options are coming in. So are they coming from AMI or that is uh, the kind of portal that you? What do you mean like options? Like when you are. When you are creating websites? Yes. Yeah. Initially, when I open the WordPress and I, I want to post a website there, mm. it, it provides me some of the panels that I need to select when setting up my own website. Mm -hmm. Whether I do have a domain, I want to change the domain, or I can create a free, uh, you know, uh, free uh, HTML page or some sort of those things mm -hmm. there initially. Uh, are this? I mean, are those coming from this AMI? Uh, on the motor, or that is completely different uh, thing that I'm trying to mix together. So, this is the like hosting architecture. So the content or design, or the program which run on this, you need to make yourself, right? That was another. Good. It is simply going to be. It's easy to instance that uh, that we are going to post here in uh, in your home. Is it something like that? Yeah, like uh, we we have two. Like one is like single AMI. Like you can you can host on Amazon yourself. Uh, that's only this one, and it has database inside, like MySQL Server. Yeah, but this setup is like in here you have PHP and WordPress and uh, Web Server, and that's like the basic. It's a ready-made template. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you say? Template, yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah. This whole setup is a template, and you can launch this with a uh, few clicks. So it means uh, the kind of version that I was explaining while creating a website there. Mm. It is simply a web page. It has nothing to do with this AMI. Then in that case, is that correct? Uh, I, I think I, 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 I'm not getting you. When, when we create a website. Yeah. So yeah. you, you design. Yes. You talk to your clients, or you, you think, and then. You, you do the HTML and WordPress? Yes. Yeah. So that's a different concept than, than this. Is that correct? 
Yeah, WordPress is in, inside this a this EC2 web server, right? Like, yeah, WordPress is running inside here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sorry, apology, I missed the session. Mm. Now, when you say that your, your platform, yeah. uh, it goes into more than just the English version, you have the, the Japanese version also, it came simultaneously, automatically, or it doesn't? Do you mean the WordPress or this the platform? WordPress and together with this, the AMI. Ah, uh, yeah, so, um, so Amazon dot, uh, AWS dot Amazon dot com page itself is like multilingual. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, people can buy in their languages. Does it make sense? And WordPress also like it, it's multilingual platform. So yeah, for example here. You can choose languages from English, Deutsch, Espanol, France. Yeah. But too often you find in the Japanese contact, mm. because the Japanese website do not have the English capability. Mm. Most of it. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, and, and so does you, does you promote the kind of uh, mm. multi-platform? Do you, uh, does it, you know, it's easy to deploy your system? Well, most of it, for example, in Japanese, in Korean, and also in, in, mm. in Chinese, most of it in vernacular. Mm. So, when you go for translation with Google Translation, it doesn't have the translation. No. So, does you have that capability of bridging the problem? Uh, yeah, uh, when we do that as like uh, agencies, then we do that inside WordPress. So, WordPress is like internationalized, so uh, it has like more than 100 yeah, languages, like it's available in that languages, but it's only for the system. But the contents, you need to, yeah. you need to translate yeah. them to, yeah. Yeah, yourself. And there are plugins for that, and they are uh, quite good. So it, it connects, uh, okay, so you have this paneling page, which describes about, like, we had an event today uh, in Singapore about AWS, and it's written in English. Then you have, like, a language switcher button, then if you click that, uh, the Japanese version, you don't want to go to the top page, like home page. You want to go to the, like, yeah. yeah so okay. yeah, that, that kind of thing can be done inside WordPress. So, and yeah, it works very well. Like it's just hosting the, the system, so yeah. Yes? Maybe a bit too, so uh, just wondering how you handle dynamic uh, yeah, really good question. So, for example, like um, e-commerce websites. So, people log in or they add to cart, stuff like that. Then you cannot basic, you cannot use. Uh, this right? Like if you cache everything, like then yeah. So uh, before answer, so basically like. We, we remove this. But before that, like, uh, we can do some, some sort of settings. For example, even with this setting, uh, the admin pages are not cached, right? Or like when you have comments, like a comment, then you don't want to cache like people's email address. Or there are a few more things like a scheduled post, like you can set inside WordPress, okay, this post, I, I've written this and I'm gonna sleep, but it must be published like eight o'clock in the morning. That kind of things need to work. So uh, inside WordPress plugin and some settings, we handle that. So maybe you can, one is maybe you, you can do something about uh, like e-commerce, but basically we take this off and make this bigger and then uh, like old scale and of also, uh, we want to uh, offload, like outsource, uh, like heavy processes, like searching or maybe storing orders. We, we haven't done this yet, but yeah, that kind of stuff like needs to be really outside of uh, WordPress. WordPress is really good at uh, managing content inside your admin page and the view, the theme structure, is, it's good. 
and you can add many functionality through plugins. So it's really good, but it's not for e-commerce website like, like by nature. So these kind of things. Uh, but uh, for example, this one works with uh, WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a WordPress plugin, uh, which serves like 16 percent of the e-commerce website in the world. So it has all, also like add-ons or extensions, like plugins of plugins. So we want to use that. Uh, but uh, we cannot do everything there. Yeah. Yes. Do you uh, enter sessions with uh, load balancing sessions? Ah, load balancing session jobs. How do you do it? Session, um, session jobs. How do you do it? For example, logging user. But one is not enough. Two or three are good. Two or three are good. Yeah. 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 Ah, uh, okay, it syncs automatically. So even even this will be like, but this block will handle. Hmm? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, uh, thank you. So, first we are uh, for writing microservices, we're getting more and more into using that lambda. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just curious what you guys are using. Uh, in this setup, we don't use, but inside our new service, like we are calculating many things. So, it's like for これ業務でラムダ使うことがあります。ラムダで、うん、いや、we yeah, we don't use that in this setup. Mm, yeah, other services we use a lot. So what what are the things that you want to use in writing your microservices? You mean, uh, microservices自分たち書くときは何何でやってますか？何をします？うん。So we are we are um, Building a SaaS uh, like a service, okay. and inside that, like we are uh, using Lambda and Dynamo DBs, like yeah, this does this and it saves this, and this will pull the data and this do this calculation and something will happen. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. so, do you mean to say that that particular shortcoming or incapability, you are not going to overcome it or living it that or the next project is going to be overcoming so that the interoperability seems to be more dynamic? Are you going to say that no, that part because we don't interlink, we don't interplay, or we leave it in there? So are you going to say that look, we're going to overcome that or we intend to overcome that? You mean the dynamic yes. stuff? Yeah. Uh, no, it's a uh, it's kind of op opposite. Yeah, mm. Mm. So yeah. Like the, like e-commerce e websites are really uh, like a server, yeah. server fool. <laughs> Could you say that? Like, yeah, yeah. It's it's really yeah. That uh, the the product we are uh, creating now is not that kind not of thing. Not including that. Mm. No, that's you also to include the interoperability with the uh, you know multi uh, gateway payment system. How it doesn't. Uh, no, like it's not uh, about like an e e-commerce website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for more like easy users to okay. so to be able to. When you to talk about elastic commerce, so what is the definition of elastic commerce? Then? Ah, the, the, ah, okay. So the whole thing was like uh, we don't want to. So this is the old style. Like WordPress is there the and plugin, they they work. Like together, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we want to do like this: like you connect other services through like connector plugins, and then like this one does what it's good at. Like WordPress does the management and like view and stuff, and then other things will be done outside. Not not on the basis of the multi-team that normally that WordPress work on 
Mm. WordPress goes on multi-team, that you have all kind of team, T-H-E-M-E. So mm. Does you work on that order or you just came up with your own, this is the basis of the platform? What do you mean? Like a uh, team? Yeah, because Word, WordPress is very much on the team. They have the team system. Mm. And then, you know, they have the... the, the you mean, you mean team or theme? Team, T-H-E-M-E. T-H-E-M-E. Yeah, yeah, it has it, the theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, have, they have that umbrella. Mm -hmm. The question is yours, is inside the umbrella or outside the umbrella? Ah, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of outside. You have WordPress? Mm. So, themes are, basically they are like templates, right? Yeah. So, it doesn't matter what theme you're using. So, plugins are like functions. Mm -hmm. So, these needs to work, like these are, these work with any themes. That's the basic concept. Like sometimes there are something in that doesn't. Yeah, yeah, because because WordPress very much is a cell system mm. that multi cell there. Mm. So you 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 your cell is one of the cell within the nucleus. So I, I don't know. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. I, I assume that when you are outside, that means you say it is uh, a different a different planet altogether. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll discuss more <laughs> later. Yeah. Maybe that's all for me? Yeah, let's talk.